Hey, Coach, uh, where do you go from here? And I know you cut it to four points in the last couple of minutes, but weren't able to get in any closer. Sorry, you say. I said, where do you go from here? You got it to four points. You cut it to four points, but after that, you just weren't able to get any closer. Get better. It's as simple as that. Oh. Can you just describe some of the things you were doing against Luca? Trying to, it seemed like you know you tried different methods of uh, limiting him in different ways, but you know he still had 35, 12, and 12. Yeah, he played great. I thought a number of other guys played great for him. Um, you know, he had that burst there at the end of the second quarter. Uh, we tried everything. We tried switching, dropping, blitzing, hitting. Um, he can score at will, uh, knock down big time threes, and obviously get into the free throw line, and then also 12 assists. That's why he's special. Several times you guys have been able to cut a late lead, but just haven't been able to get over the hump late. It, what is it do you, that you think has kind of killed the momentum there in some of those situations? Uh, I'll be better. Um, Taylor, uh, Dallas, 23 of 47 from three. Just just from just first look before watching any film, what were some of the observations that you've made in some of the looks that the Mavs were able to create? Yeah, they created open looks. I mean, that's what their offense does. Obviously, Grant Williams shot it great. Derek Jones shot it great. Tim Hardaway, you know, shoots it great. Jane Hardy comes in, you know, in only 10 minutes, knocks down two threes. Um, they had a lot of rhythm shots, um, you know, uh, credit to them with their ball movement. You know, I thought they were really precise. Luca initiates that, but I thought they did a really good job with their driving kick, kicking out. Um, so, you know, kudos to them. I mean, they shot the ball really well tonight. What are you looking for when, you know, Desmond Bain leaves the game and you have to play, you know, those stretches without him? Just what in particular uh, are you looking for from the team in those minutes? Yeah, improved play. I mean, I thought when Des was out, we definitely struggled offensively. I uh, thought I had some decent looks, missed some open shots. Uh, couldn't get to the rim as much, missed some bunnies at the rim. Um, so I got to reevaluate, you know, lineups and all this stuff. But we just got to play better, especially in those minutes. First quarter, looks like. You know, he played more off the ball and was pretty successful. What did you like about, you know, that first quarter start that you guys were able to get with him, with Marcus predominantly being the, the handler there? Yeah, I mean, Marcus has been great. I mean, I think that allows Des to play off the ball. Marcus with nine assists. I thought he was in attack mode, aggressive, obviously – Knocked down five threes, but his ability to collapse the defense and still figuring out, you know, his utilization and pick and rolls allows Dez to move without the ball a little bit more freely so they can't key in on maybe game plans with him with the ball in his hands. Uh, obviously, Dez ended up having a, a really good game, which was great to see, you know, kind of bounce back after the last couple ones. But, you know, having a, a great point of attack with Marcus allowed that to kind of free up with him off the ball. Hey, Coach, uh, the last couple of games, uh, it seemed like the opponents were, were able to get free and open from three-point and consistent. Other than Luca being Luca, how can you prevent that to bring that number down from successes? Yeah, I mean, uh, you're, you're not going to be able to take away when a team passes the ball that unselfishly, you know. So our shifts have got to be better. Our recognition of when to build out to the three-point shooters, our rotations, you know, when they got into driving kick, uh, we were probably a little step slow at times. Um, but that's the nature of the league right now, especially their team is built on shooting a million threes a game. So you're not going to be able to take away anything. Um, you give Luca room to operate. He's going to score at will. You take away room. He's got – that's why he's one of the best. He's got some of the best vision. And uh, credit to his teammates, the knock down shots tonight as well. Coach, uh, talk about that first half, highest scoring first half of the season so far, 61 points. Coming into this, did you know that you guys were going to have to kind of get in the track meet with the Mavericks offensively to kind of keep pace tonight? I mean, I was more focused on us just taking a step offensively. We've struggled the last couple of games. Um, you know, obviously in the second half, it, it kind of, uh, you know, dwindled down, especially in that fourth quarter. But our guys put a lot of great work in, you know, this morning, watching the film, the drills that we're doing. As I say, it's the patience. Like, I thought our execution offensively for the majority of the game was good. You know, late game, we got to – that's where it starts with me. You got to be better organized. Got to knock down some more shots, um, you know, throughout the game. But I thought the way that we set a tone early in the first quarter especially was exactly what we talked about coming out of the Washington game. So a step in the right direction. Our guys should be excited about that and carry that momentum. Um, the focus was on us getting better. Great. Thanks, everyone.